Hi, and welcome to Indigo Starfire. My name is Bevan, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a channeled message from your twin flame or soulmate. There are three groups to choose from. Group one is the Fluorite Heart. Group two is the Rose Quartz Heart. And group three is the Clear Quartz Heart. So if you want to take a moment to center, focus on your breathing, and feel whichever group, maybe multiple groups, or perhaps all of the groups that you're most drawn to, I'll give you a minute to make your selection, and then we'll get right into it. And there are timestamps in the description box of the video for each group, if you would like to jump ahead. Hi, group one. You chose the fluorite heart. So I'm going to be using oracle cards as the framework for this channeling, and then I will dig into the deeper energies surrounding that. I'm going to be channeling in the first person tense, so using pronouns such as I, me, you, and we. So what does your twin flame or soulmate want you to know from their higher self right now? Okay, we have Fourth Chakra, Archangel Raphael, Goddess of the Moon, Sixth Chakra, Archangel Metatron, Walking Away, Second Chakra, Archangel Ariel, and The Thinking Man. Wherever I go, I am unable to escape you. You are burned within my mind and within my heart. And there used to be a time when I found this feeling so invasive. How did you manage to work your way through all of my defenses and settle so naturally in these spaces within me? I have evolved beyond resistance. And as much as I am still keeping pace with the direction I have chosen up to now in this situation, I am watching you from afar and at the brink of course correcting to at least face you directly energetically in preparation for bold moves and revelations which are long overdue. Without meaning to, you have changed my perceptions of what connection really is. I have been so focused on the here and now, judging and determining what was important to me by what was in front of me only, what I was able to grasp, what I was able to control, You were off limits for me in so many ways because you represent freedom from all these things. You represent transcendence. And I am coming into the place of surrender, of creating a new vision for myself of what it means to be connected, heart to heart, soul to soul, mind to mind beyond body. You are the breath of life for me, and it has been a struggle to admit that to myself. I want to ease gently into a place of open recognition of what I am feeling and what I feel is still possible between us. 
your patience with me has been invaluable and steps you have taken to continue to move forward with your life despite everything within you that was crying out for you to cling and hold fast and to wait in place where I had left you, where that spark of recognition had first come to life, of the depth and meaning of this connection, this sense of soul knowing which transcends all logic. Your efforts to hold that truth within you and to carry forth anyway is encouraging me to make drastic changes, to break free from the monotony and the path which I have been headed down. You radiate truth and mystery, and I am becoming more receptive to what you have to offer energetically. I admit that there is a shell around my heart, and I have been backed into a corner defensively. This is something which predates our encountering of one another. And yet, for the first time in so long, I feel empowered to step beyond these gates and to give love a chance for real this time. The transformation is not easy. And part of me still clings to that familiar sense of disappointment and skepticism. I am moving as quickly as I can in your direction. I am circling around all the possibilities of what may yet unfold between us. And I am in the process actively of releasing doubt, desperation, and the definitions of everything I have known love to be until now. You have brought forth something within me that I was unaware of before, this capacity to feel, to feel more deeply into myself and to feel that channel which connects me to another, despite the fact that I have always felt so alien and remote from others when it comes to matters of the heart. Thank you for crossing my path and for continuing to walk your own way. I have caught sight of my own reflection in your eyes and where once I was terrified, I am now curious of what more there is to discover beneath the surface of this reaction. Keep going forward. I am merely a few steps behind. So those are your messages. I'm going to get some initials and this can be a first, middle or last name of you or your twin flame or soulmate, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Okay, we've got D, N, A, R, H, Y, M, S, X, G, O and W. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well. And I've launched a second channel 
here on YouTube, which is called Lady of the Dawn Tarot, where I do readings related to things other than love. So spirituality, ascension, wellness, self-love. So if any of that sounds interesting, I invite you to check that channel out. There's a link for that in the description box of the video, as well as in the channel section of my page. And I thank you for your support over there, as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group two. You chose the rose quartz heart. So I'm going to be using oracle cards for this channeling, and uh, these can be, or will be rather, the structure and framework for the channeling, and then I'll dig into the deeper energies surrounding that. I'm going to be channeling in the first person tense, so using pronouns such as I, me, you, and we. So what does your twin flame or soulmate want you to know from their higher self right now? Have the world, appreciation, financial constraints, rest and rejuvenation, deceit, and cornucopia. The void inside of me, where once your energy lived in real time, echoes so uncomfortably. I was so mistaken when I thought my happiness existed somewhere else, with someone else in a different place and time. You are everything that I have been looking for and that I never knew it was possible to find. I am seeing clearly now how a trail of choices has led to this sad consequence of where we are now. Your memory burns brightly within me, and you have only become more radiant with time as I remember you and with what I am able to witness now. Perhaps this distance and this faulty decision-making on my part has been a necessary part of our plan. You were too close before. I couldn't see you properly. And now I ache for you, like a child who has found themselves far from home. I have thwarted myself, and I have interrupted such a beautiful progression that was unfolding between us. I let doubt and my animal nature get in the way something so pure and wondrous and unexpected that had been birthed between us and was becoming stronger every day. All those things that I prioritized over you, including the untruth that I did not need you as much as I still do now, all of these things have withered and faded from me, and I am left standing in the stark reality that you are the place of abundance that I am needing to move towards. I don't know how to course correct in this circumstance. My mind plays tricks on me, coaxing me forth 
to reach out and to reach deeply inside of myself for the truth that you are longing to hear. And just at the point of expression, when I'm ready to cross that divide and break the silence and breathe hope back into what may still come of this situation. That's when the voices that dissuade me from my path start chiming in like a chorus and all I can do is retreat back into my comfort zone to silence them and to cry silently for you from within yet again. I don't know how to break free of these patterns. I am my own worst enemy in this circumstance. There is nothing that you have done wrong. You lack nothing and are absolutely everything to me as much as I have failed miserably to prove that to you before. And although it is no excuse, I need you to understand just how crafty and baffling this part of myself is that won't free me from the sense of misery within so that I can move in your direction and try to start fresh to give to you in the ways in which I should have long ago. I am searching for the answers and the signs that I receive are conflicting. I don't know where to turn. I don't know what is trustworthy at this time, what I hear within myself or what I see without. But in the midst of all of this chaos, you are unwavering and precious to me. And I don't know if you consciously mean to stand vigil with me through this process of unraveling myself from the knots I have entangled myself in. Or if you are just a reminder, a lesson of what might have been so that the next time such a door opens for me, I will make different choices. Either way, I feel you so strongly even now. And it hurts and it's confusing. And yet you are a comfort to my soul. When I look around and there is so little inside of me left to cherish and treasure. I have squandered the opportunity with you. And I don't know if I am deserving of another chance. But I am trying to find a way to bridge the gap between who I was when I left you standing there in love all alone and who I need to be in order to prove to you that if given the opportunity, I would stop at nothing to treat you in the way which you have always deserved. So those are your messages. I'm going to get some initials, and this can be a first, middle, or last name of you or your twin flame or soulmate, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Okay, we've got G, V, J, S, F, Y, P, O, M, A, I, Q and B. 
So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers. If you're interested in checking any of those out as well, well, and I've launched a second channel here on YouTube, which is called Lady of the Dawn Tarot. There's a link in the description box as well as in the channel section of my page for that. Um, the format over there consists of readings that are about subjects other than love. So, so spirituality, um, ascension, wellness, and self-love are some of the themes that are covered over there. So if any of that sounds interesting, I invite you to check that channel out. I thank you for your support there as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, Group 3. We chose the Clear Quartz Heart. So I'm just going to be using Oracle cards for this channeling, and I'll use those as the framework for the messages and then dig into the deeper energy surrounding that. I'm going to be channeling in the first person tense, so using pronouns such as I, me, you, and we. So what does your twin flame or soulmate want you to know right now from their higher self? We have all tied up, victory, angel of love, second chakra, archangel Ariel, broken heart, and man holding a heart. I'm sorry for what I said and how the true meaning of love was lost in the translation of words that came out clumsily and without thinking. You are so good for trying to pretend to remain as unbothered as I know that you deeply were by what was spoken. I wish that you felt free enough to express the full range of your emotions to me. You need not walk on eggshells around me, although I know that that is what you are accustomed to love being like. It pains me to know of all the hands that were reckless with your heart before. And as much as I feel blessed to have this opportunity to explore these feelings with you, I am well aware of the wreckage left within you by others who came before me. I am trying to tread lightly around these aspects. I never meant to trigger you. And now I don't know what to say to soothe you back into a place of believing that I truly mean you no harm. I want to be the one to help you to understand that love doesn't need to hurt as much as it has for you before. I could tell from the moment that we met that as much as you were willing to open yourself up, you were still so guarded and defensive. I sense in your energy 
the battles that you fight on a daily basis. And you are brave and you are strong in ways that I don't think you give yourself credit for. And I tried to be careful. But all this tiptoeing, it just got jumbled up. And you misunderstood me. I misconveyed what I wanted to speak. I would like to help you to rebuild the idea of who you should be in a loving partnership. I don't want you to have to contort yourself or feel the need to wear a mask on my account. All I want is you, authentically, in all your perceived brokenness. I have caught glimpses of your shadow peek out from behind the sunshine that you convey to me. And I know that you fear this aspect of yourself because your authenticity has frightened away so many others before. And I am only human, and I too have feelings and reflexes and trigger points. And so it's a clumsy dance that we are doing between revealing ourselves utterly to one another and transcending the wounded parts of ourselves that would hide away for fear of being judged or known too precisely by another. I will wait for you to come out of hiding. I am here whenever you want to give this love another chance. I will not hold against you what has happened before, just as much as I hope that you will not hold against me the way in which I have gone about things up till now. We are both yearning for fulfillment, you and I. And I know that if we are diligent, and if we take our time, and if we sail around these wounded parts within each of us carefully, consistently, and with determination, that there is a new horizon to experience, a new version of what it means to give and receive love that is available to the both of us. I will be patient, just as I ask the same of you. There's no need to rush at this point. Cry your tears silently. And on the other side of this dip in what had been the upward arc of our narrative, you will find me still standing there with open arms in a way that so many before me had failed to do. So those are your messages. Um, I'm going to get some initials, and this can be a first, middle, or last name of you or your twin flame or soulmate, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Okay, we've got Z, O, S, Y, P, G, W, I, and E. 
So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. And I've launched a second channel here on YouTube, which is called Lady of the Dawn Tarot. There's a link in the description box as well as in the channel section of my page for that. The format over there consists of readings related to things other than love. So topics such as spirituality, ascension, wellness, and self-love. So if any of that sounds interesting, I invite you to check that channel out. I thank you for your support there as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.